Merry Christmas everybody and welcome back to the channel today We are doing our Christmas unboxing video and we are so excited about it today We're going to be unboxing some gifts that you have sent to our PO box and we are very very excited like Jay said So let's just jump right into it. What do you want to start with? Let's start with a small one or a big one? Let's start small. Yeah, we'll start small <laughs> What do you think it is? Who's it from? Howard Bates. Howard Bates. Let's see what he has sent us today Feels squishy. Feels squishy. It's kind of in a squishy package. <gasps> oh, look at that. Hang on, there's more in here. There's more in there? I'll take this. Howard has hooked us up with some baits. Some look at that. spinner baits or buzz baits. Is it Howard's baits or is his name Howard Bates? Or is it just a coincidence? I don't know. Is it Howard's baits? <laughs> awesome. Look at all this stuff. He's got wow. some jigs, some little finesse jigs. What you got? A buzz bait? Buzz bait. Oh. Got some like casting jigs. Flipping jigs, look at all this. Wow. Bunch of cool jigs, and there's some snare baits too. Was there a letter or anything? Look at that. No letter. Pretty cool. They does have a card. Oh, okay. Calico Custom Lures, owner Howard Bates. So his okay. name is Howard Bates. That's a cool ass name. Oh, there's also some chatter baits. Look at that. Little chatter bait looking mm -hmm. jigs. Really cool. Thank you so much, Howard, for hooking That's us up with the baits. Good. Really cool. Definitely loaded up now. I definitely have to try them out once the weather warms up. We can throw the jigs right now, though. Yeah. Try those jigs out. I like this little buzz bait. A little bit of finesse, a little bitty finesse buzz bait would be good in a pond. Okay, we're going to get a couple of these baits out of the package so you can see them a little bit better. It's kind of a weird glare. I really like this one. I think this is my favorite one in there. It's oh, kind yeah. of like a, a lavender, kind of purple spinner bait. It's got like a purple, black, and white head. And it's got these big, kind of like hybrid, kind of like Indiana blades. Really cool. I like that sound. So here's a couple of the jigs that he sent us. We got a couple of different varieties. This is kind of like a like a pitching style jig, and this one looks like a swim jig. Um, Jay's is cool. It's, he it's called it rainbow trout. Yeah, rainbow trout color, <laughs> and it's just black and blue. Definitely some colors that'll probably work out here. We'll have to try them out. Anyways, let's move on to the next package. Thank you so much, Howard, for Thank the you. for the jigs and spinner baits and little chatter baits. Really, really cool. Definitely appreciate it. Okay, this one is from Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime. From um, well, I don't know where from. <laughs> from Amazon. Okay, ready? Yep. I don't know what this is. Yeah! Oh, sweet. Yes, we needed one of these. Yeah, I guess some of y'all didn't believe us in how big some of the fish were. <laughs> so, this would be an awesome way. This is probably the best way to measure crappie. Yes. And this would be so much easier. Yeah. I don't know why we've never gotten one of these. I've always wanted one, but thank you. Now we don't ever have to get one. And we can always be legal. Here's that 10 inch mark. It gotta be 10 inches most everywhere we're fishing. It says, hi Jay and Cole, a little something to make it easier to measure them crappie. Awesome. Tight line, Scott. Yeah. Thank you, Scott. We will definitely be using this. We might yes. even use this today later on. We're planning on this crappie fishing later on this afternoon. So thank you so much, Scott. <laughs> definitely we'll be using, we'll put this in the boat and we'll never, never be without it. <laughs> awesome, thank you so much. Here, I wanna open a box. Okay. You getting to have all the fun. Is there anything in here? I know, it doesn't feel like oh, I hear it. something. Oh. I hear something. I hear something. There's a little rattle to it. There's a little rattle to it. How about that? Normally it means fish and lure. Here's a note. Dear Colin and Jay, Merry Christmas. You're going to need another shadow box. These are my granddad's and great granddad's lures. Ooh. What? My father was smart enough to keep the whole old antique metal tackle box. Hope you enjoy. We love your show. Keep it up and God bless you guys. From Keith. From the plateau in East Tennessee. Cool. Thank you, Keith. Wow. No wonder you couldn't hear him rattle. I probably should have been shaking him like that. Ooh, I bet it made him nervous. Okay. They're wrapped up really nicely though in these paper towels. Okay, can you take that? <gasps> I see a bait. And I think we do have space in our shadow box, by the way. Like some of those baits I put in there are just some like just fillers. We could take them out and put them in there. Like they're not some of the baits in the box aren't really antique. But Ooh. oh wow. Okay, we gotta show you guys these. You're gonna like this one. This is a darter. Look at that. It's super cool. It's kind of got that frog color, the old antique frog color. Really, really nice. Really, really cool. This oh, a jointed sweet. one. A jointed one? What's it? It's called the jointed one? Does it have no, a name it on it? doesn't have a name on it. Dang. Like I, I said, I'm, I'm pretty horrible with names. Does it have anything on the bill? No. No. If any of you guys That's know cool. what this one's called in Jay's hand, let us know in the comment section because we want to up our game in our antique fishing lure knowledge. Really cool. Okay, so there's those two. We'll set them over here on the, on the shelf and then we'll put them in the box. Yeah. How about that? Okay, I have another one in my lap. Ooh, this thing looks deadly. This thing looks deadly, deadly. 
This is what they used to use in those cold winter months back in the day. Look at that. It's like a little flat sided cool. crankbait. So if you're not too familiar with bass fishing, like a flat sided crankbait is like one of the most deadly things you can throw in cold water, like in the winter time, early spring, late fall. So I bet this thing got a lot of use back in the day. What's it called? It's just pumpkin seed. Head and pumpkin seed. It looks just like a little pumpkin seed. I love that. I love that one. <laughs> It might be my favorite one so far today. I love them all, but this might be my favorite so far. Oh, little Lazy Ike. Yeah. These are classic. Like, it's like, when I think about antique lures, I think about Lazy Ikes. There we go. Got a little Lazy Ike in the box. Is that it? Uh, yeah. That was it. Awesome. awesome. We got four <laughs> new antique lures to add to our collection. We definitely have four pegs available in that box. So we're definitely going to be adding them to it very, very soon. I mean, right after we end the video, we'll put them in there. <laughs> Really cool. Thank you so much, Keith. Thank you. Really cool. I mean, it's it's so cool to get antique lures from you guys. I mean, I feel like that's one of my favorite things to get, honestly. Okay. So we've got the baits, crappie checker, some antique lures. Let's see what we got. We got a couple more boxes left. We have several. All right, I've already kind of busted this package. This is another package that was air mailed to us from buddy Michael out in South Africa. He always hooks us up with some really cool um, hunting fish magazines, books, articles, and this feels a little bit different than like an article. No. I think it's a book. Oh, sweet. Are you serious? No way. This is awesome. Okay, check it out. No way. Michael hooked us up with a field guide to the reptiles and amphibians of East Africa. And, and the butterflies and moths of South Africa. That's awesome. Now, you can't get this stuff here. I don't this think. I've never seen these books in any store around here. But you know, we love field guides. We love learning about um, all the creatures in all parts of the world. And this is a great way to get a glimpse into that area. Really, cool. really cool. Thank you Thank so much, you. Michael. It's got all the venomous snakes in there. <laughs> <laughs> really cool. So if we ever are able to pay a visit out to the area, we'll be prepared. We'll have our field yes. guides in hand. We'll be able to know what we're looking at. That's so cool. Really cool. Thank you, Michael. Y'all are blowing it out of the water today. <laughs> getting some really, really cool stuff. That was fun. Okay. okay. We got two more packages. You want to open that one? Sure. Okay, you can open that one. It's kind of an interesting shape. Kind of like um, one of the other ones. From Lunker Trail. Lunker Trail. I wonder what it is. A fishing rod holder. Heck yeah. Cool. How's it? Does it mount on the boat? I think so. Yeah, look at that. It does mount on the boat. Nice. These little clips. <laughs> that should mount right on the side of the boat. Really cool. It'll probably give us some insight in the letter. Colin J, my family and I are big fans of your show. We love that you find such joy in each other, in your outdoor adventures, and in life. Keep up the great work. I noticed in one of your recent videos an apparent need for fish <laughs> a fishing rod holder. These just hook on to your mooring cleat so you won't need to drill holes. I'm only sending one for now for you to try. If you find them useful, just call me and I'll send you more. Aww. That's awesome. Merry Christmas, Jonathan Riley, Lunker Trail. Awesome. Sweet. Just go to lunkertrail.com and watch the, watch the video to see how to install. Yep. We cool. will be doing that. Thanks. Yeah. We, we did need one of those. We don't ever have rod holders. No. We always talk about needing rod holders. We always just stick them on the side of the boat or prop them up on like a Y stick. But this would be really, really awesome. An awesome accessory to our side of our boat. We're doing some catfish and some bottom fishing. That's really so cool. cool. Thank you. If you guys want to look at that, I'll take it out so you guys can see it. Check it out. Really cool. It looks like you just attach that to the cleat and then stick the rod in there and then hold on. Or just wait. Be patient. <laughs> just wait. <laughs> awesome. All right. I think we have one more left. We saved the largest package for last because why wouldn't you? I wouldn't you say, look at this, bigger than both of us. But it's kind of, <laughs> it feels like just the weight of the box, but surely yeah, there's something. It's not very heavy. Something in there. This is got from. got nice pink duct tape. Doesn't say who it's from yet. Once again, y'all are always so sneaky. Well, Cole, there's probably a letter. It probably is. Pull the pink duct tape off. <laughs> oh, wow. Woo. Ah. No wonder you couldn't shake it. Okay, we know what's in there. We just got it. <laughs> Dear Colin J, we just wanted to let you know that we love your channel and watch it faithfully. Aw. 
You two provide interesting and educational content, and you are our favorite fishing channel. Awesome. We have noticed that you two get a lot of fun things from your fans, but we thought that Buggy and Junebug deserve some gifts too. We also enclosed a gift for Jay. Seems like Cole always gets more gifts, even if he orders them for himself. <laughs> Love and blessings from Sam and Leslie Settle. Awesome. Okay, so let's show you guys what they got for our little oh precious my puppies. Oh gosh. Wait. There is a Chick-fil-A gift card. I bet that's mine? what I bet that's what's for yours. It's mine? Oh my gosh, yes! She got a Chick-fil-A gift card. Merry Christmas to me! <laughs> and look at this. They made them a blanket. Oh yeah, made two, two blankets. blankets. One for each oh look at that. It's perfect. Aww. It's a perfect size for them and I like that it's well, this one's mainly white. this one's not but this one's white because I got that white dog here you know they shed like crazy he won't show up as much on this this is so sweet this is super sweet they will love it especially buggy yeah buggy's gonna freak out about Should it you get them? yeah you go get them okay. we're gonna go get the puppies so we can show them what we got what y'all got for them buggy oh, buggy. <gasps> buggy Aww. They made that for you, isn't that sweet? Buggy, Aww. Aww, look at that. Buggy, do you love that blankie? Buggy, do you isn't love that Junie? blankie? Junebug, look at your blankie. Junie B, hey Junie. Junie, you like your blankie? Say thank you. Say thank you, Junebug and Buggy. <laughs> Junebug, you like the white one? Uh oh, Junebug likes the white one. Is that your favorite, Junebug? Can you believe it? You got a blankie. That's so sweet. That is really just so nice of y'all. Like they even made it. Buggy, do you like your blankie? Oh, you look so cute and cozy. Oh. <laughs> Junie loves her blankie. Buggy, do you love your blankie? Isn't that sweet? She likes the red one. I thought she would like the white one. Junebug likes the white one. <laughs> you like that white blankie, Junie? Oh, she loves it. That is so sweet. Thank you all so much for sending the blankets to the puppies. They're going to love them. Buggy is just, they're both little snuggle bugs. They are. And they are always needing new blankies. So I can tell that the doggies really love their blanket. They're already laying down on it, taking a nap. And I also really love my Chick-fil-A gift card. I am so excited about it. So thank you so much. I actually think that I'm going to go there. Um, for lunch today. Yeah, and, right after this video. Yeah, right <laughs> after we're done with this, and I might take you with me, Cole. <laughs> That'd be so nice of you. Well, I guess that's gonna be it for today's unboxing video. We hope you guys enjoyed watching. We had a great time unboxing all these gifts for you guys. We we'll say thank you to each and everyone who sent us a gift. We really, really appreciate it. Like, you seriously did not have to do that. And also thoughtful, too. Yeah, very thoughtful. I mean, this was amazing. It's a great way to wrap up the holiday season. And if you would like to send us something, you can find our P.O. Box address in our video description. We're, we're Cole and Jay, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.